Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yea, the Lord saith unto thee, Yea, if thou would know the times and the days, saith the Lord, Yea, there would be a greater explanation in thy spirit. Yea, thou would be ever greater shout, saith the Lord. If thou would know the walls that would be removed even this year. Yea, if thou would know thy family was coming in, saith the Lord. Yea, thou would have a great shout. Yea, if thou would know of the finances that shall flow thy way. Yea, thou would have a great victory. Yea, if thou would know the doors of opportunity that would open up to thee, saith the Lord. Yea, thou would shout. But I say, wait not until the day. Yea, but give me, yea, thy excitement now, saith the Lord. Give me thy praise, saith the Lord. Yea, for thou shalt know in thy spirit, yea, the timing of the Lord. These are momentous days, saith the Lord. These are days when I'm turning, yea, my hand in a new way, saith the Lord. Yea, when I'm giving out great portions unto those, yea, saith the Lord, that have been faithful. Yea, I'm giving great portions portions unto those that are working for me. Yea, I'm giving an abundance, saith the Lord. And I say, if thou would know, yea, thou would have a great shout, saith the Lord. Even as the children did march around the walls of Jericho. Yea, did they not shout, saith the Lord. And did they not enter into the city. Yea, did they not take the spoils, saith the Lord. So I say unto thee, yea, let us shout. Let us shout, let us shout, let us shout. Let us shout, let us shout, come down. Let us Shout come up, let a shout come, let a shout, let a shout come up, let a shout come up, let a shout come, let a shout, let a shout come up, let a shout, let a shout, let a shout, let a shout come up, let a shout, shout, let a shout, let a shout come up, shout, shout, shout the victory, oh shout, shout, shout your victory, oh shout, shout, shout your victory. Victory, 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 victory,
Victory! 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 Jubilee! 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 For year of Jubilee! 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 For year of Jubilee! 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 For year of Jubilee!
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. 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 Jubilee. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Go ahead, give me my another shot. Oh, give me my another shot. Give me my another shot. Give me another shot. Give me another shot. Yes, give me my another shot. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
for in quietness and confidence shall be your strength. And ye shall go from strength to strength. Yea, from anointing to anointing, from glory to glory. Yea, for that what bird that is loosed soars higher and higher. And I shall free thee from every weight and everything that is hindered. And thou shalt soar higher, higher into the realms of my glory. Yea, thou shalt soar so high, yea, that that which has disturbed thee in the past shall seem as if it's no more. <coughs> so very, very small shall it be <coughs> from the high perspective of the heavenly. And thou shalt walk in a confidence, a confidence greater than thou hast ever known, <coughs> a confidence of, of the greatness of thy God, a confidence of knowing that he is yours, and yea, you are mine. Yea, I say this unto thee. <laughs> Surely thou shalt walk differently. The glory shall be seen upon thee. And even thy carriage shall speak <coughs> of the miracles of thy God. For not only windows in heaven are open unto thee, but doors to the nations. <coughs> and within the nations, great and glorious doors already open. And thou shalt find thyself stepping over the threshold into the greatness of this brand new day. Yea, for the Lord hath brought thee forth into the fullness of what he hath spoken unto thee. And thou knowest it. Yea, thou knowest it in thy spirit. Thou dost not see the tangible evidences yet, but thou rejoiceth as one who already hath obtained. And surely thou hath obtained. <laughs> It is thine, it is thine, it is thine, saith the Lord. And yea, thou shalt not look back to a lesser day, but thou shalt only go forward to the fuller day in the confidence and strength of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. tonight in that confidence. Amen. Let it fall upon you. Where does a cap upon your head? 
Wear it as a garment about your shoulders. Wear it as shoes upon your feet. Wear it as gloves upon your hands. The confidence of the Lord. Hallelujah.
thoughts and not your own I am causing you to see my vision and not your own I'm causing you to hear my voice and not your own I am causing you yea to be lifted up greatly in me for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever give it to me in a major the same key for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever.
a good clap on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You may be seated. We should all feel that, uh, that greatness of his kingdom, his power, and his glory. <laughs> and feel that forever too. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. That aspect of e eternity. Praise the Lord. Yeah, as it happens, mothers here. I'd buy this book of mothers. Everything that Sister Ruth and I are is because of mother. Amen. She says, I want to hear you preach, son. I said, mother, everything I got, I got from you. You don't need to come. But it is tremendous. And I was talking to Sister Richardson today and said, you know, people see her. She's 85 and see her the way she is now. Not uh, as forceful as she used to be. But, I mean, here's a woman that's the most independent woman I ever met in all my life. At 69, she went to China by herself when nobody in 79 spoke English. I mean, that's a great feat. Sister Ruth knows her way around a little bit. She went in the year before. But to realize all that she has done, God told her to go to the Arctic and the Antarctic. She flew up to as far as she could go, up to to Port Huron, way up there, uh, going to Alaska to get to the to the uh, Arctic, and went by herself. And wherever God told her, she just would take off and go. She said to my sister, "Me, if you don't go, God's gonna move in South America, and if you don't go down there, you're gonna miss God." Oh, mother, we haven't got time to go to South America. We're too busy. All I knew about South America was Juarez, Mexico, that I went to see at 6 in the morning on the way to Korea, and that was enough of South America for me. She said, if you two don't go, I'm going. So she got on the plane, went all over South America by herself to do what? Find out what the Holy Ghost was about to do. Yes, you did, honey. I'll tell you, she had been a tiger. Get her book. And you'll be blessed. It's always a great blessing to have Sister Ruth, and I'm glad we're going to keep her around a little longer. Amen. Everybody just hog tire and don't let her out. But it's been tremendous every night. Let's give her a great big hand as she comes. God bless you. God is doing a great thing. He's doing it in me and in you. God is doing a great thing. He's doing it in me and in you. Sing it with me. Oh, God is doing a great thing. He's doing I want to remind you that my friend Ellie Mizraki is sitting in the back with his wonderful book, Two Americans Within the Gates, concerning the first two Americans that went from Amer uh, to Israel uh, to Jerusalem from Massachusetts in 1820. Get, get his book and be blessed as you read. I believe we're entering into the labors of those who have gone before. And we've had the privilege of sowing a number of those books into Turkey. This last year between, uh, I guess it was on October the, uh, I think it was October the 
11th, around that time, that uh, all over the world, Christians were praying especially for Smyrna, or modern-day Izmir, Turkey, and there were 30 million believers praying the same day. Amen. Praying the same day for Turkey, and there were groups going into Turkey from all over the world, and we had the privilege of getting not his hardcover, but getting numerous copies of, of it bound in paperback. Uh, these friends of ours did an overrun, especially so that we could sew them into the 1040 window and sew them into the revival in Turkey. And so we had a number of groups that went into Turkey and uh, took the book and also sewed it into the lives of others. We are all entering into other people's labors, and it'll give you a real sense not only of, of the tremendous call and dedication of these young men, but what God wants to do in this day and hour. I'm reading tonight from Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12. Hallelujah. Did my brother announce that we're going to be on CBN tomorrow so that everybody will be praying? Genesis chapter 12, Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation and I will bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all of the families of the earth be blessed. I want to call your attention to verse... Thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many feel that greatness of God that's in the midst of the congregation tonight? Amen. Uh, hallelujah. We were singing earlier in the service tonight, uh, Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Uh, not only is He great, but He makes a great people. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. He has not called any of us uh, to anything that's small and insignificant. Uh, but rather when he calls us, uh, he calls us into a life of greatness, uh, into a path of greatness, uh, amen, uh, into a time of greatness, uh, hallelujah. And he wants us to realize that he's doing great things in you and great things in me in order that he might make of us a great nation and that he might make our name great, not for our name's sake, but for his name's sake. Amen. Hallelujah. That greatness of the Lord that he brings in order to make his name great uh, through us. Now, the enemy, oftentimes he... He tries to rob us because just as Brother Heflin said, uh, tonight he said he was thinking great thoughts. Uh, and right in the midst of thinking great thoughts, uh, God spoke and said, I want you to think my thoughts. I'm going to cause you to think my thoughts. Hallelujah. God's thoughts are always thoughts of good and not of evil to bring us to an expected end. God's thoughts are always thoughts of blessing. God's thoughts are always thoughts of greatness. Amen. If you're sitting in a church service and you have a great thought and immediately afterward a thought that is less great, 
know that the great thought is God. Amen. The lesser thought is usually yourself. Amen. It's your flesh speaking to you saying that former thought is impossible. It can never come to pass. But in anointed meetings, God drops greatness into our spirit. I want to say this, that you can't attend anointed meetings without being touched by greatness. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Why are all of the great humanitarians in the world, in the, in the Judeo-Christian ethic? It's because it's only in this greatness that men want to give. Amen. And help mankind. God is dropping greatness into our spirit for this last day revival oh yes he's got greatness and he wants to raise everyone up in this last day move of God to use everyone there's not a one here that he will not use hallelujah for miracles there's not a one here that he will not use for signs and wonders there's not a one here that he will not use to speak the word and have it come forth uh, in a creative force uh, in the lives of people uh, hallelujah God calling us and putting greatness in us now so many times we are bothered by that which we consider to be humility God speaks greatness, and we say, oh, Lord, no, no, I'm humble. <laughs> no, no, I'm too humble to do that great thing for God. Hallelujah. We allow the enemy to rob us with false senses of humility when God is saying yes I know you can but I can through you <laughs> I know you're unable but I'm able through you I know you never can but I can through you hallelujah I know you're unable but I'm going to equip you and I'm going to make you able Hallelujah, because I'm going to make of you a great nation, a great people, and I'm going to make your name great for my name's sake. Oh, yes, the church is just about ready to see the greatest time that they've ever known before. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You say, but I thought this was spoken to Abraham. Yes, but we are children of Abraham by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. God not only working in the nation of Israel and bringing his great purposes to pass through the Jewish people, but God working likewise in the sons of Abraham by faith. Hallelujah. That God likewise wants to raise us up. He wants to raise us up beyond our expectation and tonight as sister Lofton began to give that word hallelujah I want somebody to be sure to type it up for us so we'll have that word amen to read it and ponder it and believe God for it amen to speak it again and again before the throne of grace oh hallelujah it doesn't matter what your circumstances are. It doesn't matter what your education is. It matters not what your social background nor your economic situation. God is not limited by the circumstances of your life in any way. Oh, no, he's not. He is only limited if we limit him in our thinking. Amen. But as soon as we allow greatness to explode in our thoughts, it begins to work. Hallelujah. In the manifestation in our lives, those great things. <laughs> Sister Rebecca, I'm seeing... 
I'm city seeing a sign uh, being hung upon the church out there where you are, and it says, healings and miracles in every service. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't believe the Lord just is telling you there will be, but I believe you need to declare it so that all those passing by will know that if they come, there will be healings and miracles by the hand of the Lord. Hallelujah. We have to be those that declare greatness. Amen. We have to declare greatness as we sang, Great is the Lord, then say, And great is God in the midst of His people, and great is God in manifestation through His people, and great is God. Amen. Hallelujah. He is not only great in the heavens upon His throne, but He is great in the midst of His people. He is great in the, His manifestation among His people and through his people and we're going to see God raising up numerous people that are going to have anointings equal to Catherine Kuhlman and Benny Hinn and others yes we're going to see revival fires kindle in you and me hallelujah and we're going to say great is the Lord and declare his greatness oh yes great is the lord i remember years ago when we had uh, when we were having bible school in jerusalem every afternoon sister susan was teaching this particular day and she asked everyone to go home and to bring back an assignment in which they were to remember any word from god that had not yet been fulfilled concerning them. Any uh, word, whether it was given in a dream or a vision or from the word of God or from a prophecy or in any other way that God had spoken to them concerning their lives and concerning their future. And she said, I want you to write it down and bring it to class. Well, everybody came with their piece of paper. But they had one piece of paper and they took another and they quickly covered it over because they didn't want the one sitting next to them <laughs> to see the great things that God had spoken to them. It wasn't the little insignificant things that they'd written down because God doesn't speak in little insignificant ways. Amen. Amen. No, he doesn't. He only anoints people unto greatness. Oh, yes. You put that anointing on a man, he might be ordinary before it comes on, but when he gets on him, he's extraordinary. Amen. Hallelujah. He might be a little man before that anointing comes, but when that anointing comes, he's a great man already. Before he does one thing, he's a great man because he's got the holy anointing oil of God that's set upon him. You say, Sister Ruth, give me a scripture to bear it out. Well, David continued his little life as the, uh, as the shepherd boy after the anointing oil came upon him, but in the sight of God, it was just the same as if he were already on the throne. <laughs> Hallelujah. He had not yet stepped into the fullness of what God had for him, but positionally, as God saw him, he was king. Amen. Why? Because the anointing oil of God was already upon him for kingship. <laughs> Everything wasn't quite in order yet in order for him to be on the throne. But that anointing oil was upon him for greatness. And again and again, David speaks about the greatness of God and he says, Thy gentleness hath made me great. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, they all had their papers covered over. Didn't want anybody to see it. 
And uh, Sister Susan went around the room and she said, now tell me what uh, you've written on your paper. Well, everybody didn't want to tell to begin with. You know, we don't like to tell. We say, oh, you know. We suddenly get shy. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's like... Uh, it's like the most uh, secret hidden thought is being revealed and we don't want anybody to think we've got any pride and that we're expecting, you know, too much for ourselves. And, you know, some of them have just gotten saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, but that doesn't matter. Amen. When God calls a man, <laughs> sometimes a prophet just passed by in his cloak moves in his direction amen and that young one will rise up and follow after the man of god god he doesn't know what's happening to him he can't let go amen he can't stop following why because god's already touched him with greatness <laughs> touched him with greatness in such a way that he says Hallelujah. When he's asked, he says, I want a double portion of that which is on you. That's, I mean, talking about chutzpah. Amen. Talking about uh, being a little bold or brash for a young, you know, who do you think you are, son? That's what we'd say today. This little one hadn't even been to Bible school yet says, I want a double portion of that which is on you. Why greatness had already been birthed within him. <laughs> Hallelujah. That made him ask for more. Hallelujah. When Sister Susan would say, now, oh, now what, what's on your list? Well, God's told me that I will be a great evangelist. Almost everybody used the word great. Amen. God's told me I'll be. God doesn't just say you'll be an evangelist. <laughs> oh, hallelujah, I'll be a great evangelist. Sister Susan said to that one, she said, I have no problem with that. You're already uh, preaching and you're preaching evangelistic messages. And when you're preaching, uh, souls are getting saved. And each time you preach, the numbers are getting more. Uh, and I, I don't doubt that God's going to make you a uh, great evangelist <laughs> hallelujah someone else says uh, she says uh, well God's told me I'll have a great healing ministry <laughs> she said well uh, I, I saw you pray for this one the other day and God healed them in the meeting uh, and you prayed for somebody else and God healed that one. Well, in order to have a great healing ministry, you just need to pray for more people. You're on the way. Amen. Hallelujah. You're on the way. She went around the room and every expectation. Hallelujah, that God had dropped into the hearts of people. Uh, she never once said it's impossible. <laughs> she never once said, who do you think you are? Uh, she never once said, well, listen, you're just an upstart. You're not even dry behind the ears yet. Uh, she never said any of those things. She said, God is already beginning that uh, in you and I don't see any problem with the fact uh, that he's going to bring you into the fullness of that measure uh, and use you for his glory hallelujah hallelujah how many of you have uh, words that you wouldn't necessarily want to have to tell everybody God had spoken to you yes yes we got some folks there uh, is the reason you don't want to tell it because it's too little? Is it too big? Yes, yeah, so, oh, <laughs> because God always raises a man up for greatness. Hallelujah in order. Hallelujah that he might make his name great that he might be a 
blessing. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. People say, but God's going to raise up nobodies in this last day. He might raise up nobodies, but by the time they're raised up, they're no longer nobodies. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes people think God's going to raise up nobodies and they're going to stay nobodies. Oh, no. Two or three years ago, nobody in America hardly had heard of Rodney Howard Brown. But he's almost a household name in spiritual circles now. Not only in America, but around the world. Two or three years ago, nobody had ever heard of the airport uh, hotel, uh, airport church in Toronto. Uh, amen. But all over the world now, they have heard. Amen. Several years ago, just a couple of years, back a year and a half ago, nobody had, well, no, last June. Early June, nobody had heard of Pensacola, Florida. Amen. And now people are traveling from... All. Do you see what I'm saying? It doesn't take God a long time. Oh, no. Hallelujah. When God begins to pour greatness into an individual, when God begins to pour greatness, hallelujah, into a church, when God begins to pour greatness into a movement, it doesn't take God long. And why does he put greatness there that we can be a blessing to a greater number of people. Is God concerned about numbers? He is. Hallelujah. I, I was so pleased in the last couple of days I heard in one of the prophetic words the word continent come out. I said, oh, we're growing. <laughs> we're growing. People's faith is growing. Why was I excited? That we weren't just declaring it for cities. Uh, and we weren't just declaring it for states. Uh, and we weren't even just declaring it for nations. Uh, but God was raising our faith to begin to declare uh, His plan and His purposes for continents. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, we're going to see such revival as the world has never seen before. Who is God going to use? He's going to use us. Amen. Hallelujah. We're the ones. We're the vessels. He's emptying us of ourselves so that we can become the empty vessels through whom the golden oil is emptied out of ourselves into the lives of others. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, bless God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Several years ago in Jerusalem, there was a, a man that was introduced at the, at the uh, Feast of Tabernacles. And normally the introductions are very simple introductions. Uh, but this particular night, it was a very elaborate one. They were talking about this brother, how he had preached in uh, uh, more than 50 stadiums where there were 300,000 in every stadium. And they went on and on about the miracles and the great things. Uh, and usually when there's a visiting preacher, I go up after the service just to thank them for coming to Jerusalem to bless our city. This particular night I couldn't get near him, so the next night... Uh, as I came into the auditorium, I saw him standing near the front. And I just walked up to him and I said, Brother, I'm Ruth Heflin. And I was going to say I live in the city. And I'm so, you know, I was going to say a little word of thank you to him. But when I started to introduce myself, he said, Sister Ruth, you don't need to introduce me uh, yourself to me. He said, everything that has happened in my ministry began in your church at St. Peter's when you folks prophesied over me. He said, I was just a young, young convert and you prophesied into my life. And he said, in fact, the things that they said in the introduction are only a part of what God's done for me. He's taken me all over the world. And he began to tell the miracles and the wonders and he said in fact I would have flowed a little differently here in the service but they put a little limitation on what I could do but 
he said, Sister Ruth, uh, it came because of that anointing. Amen. Hallelujah. God anoints us for greatness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You say, well, I haven't heard of that brother. No, he's preaching all over Africa and Asia and, and in the places. He's not here in America. There are lots of great men that God's raising up all over the world. And what is he raising up? Little ordinary folks uh, and clothing them with his greatness uh, because he's going to make of them a um, great nation. Hallelujah. He says that on that day we'll stand before him and people will come unto us and we'll say from whence have these come. Hallelujah. These will be folks we laid hands on <laughs> that we don't remember. These will be folks we prophesied over and we don't remember. These will be countries that in moments of faith we released our faith to believe God for. Amen. There will be folks that will come up to you on that day and thank you for the part that you played in there and bringing them unto salvation that you won't even know you had a thing to do with it. Why? Because God has put seeds of greatness in us and he's watering them by his spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. And we mustn't, we mustn't let the enemy rob us in any way of the great things that God has ordained for us and if there's no one else to encourage you encourage yourself in the Lord amen David encourage himself in the Lord hallelujah there wasn't a good good uh, a great cheering squad nearby but I know this, I traveled all over, uh, all over Asia and other parts of the world as a young girl. Most of the time I was in services where I didn't understand a word that was being said. Year after year I traveled extensively through India and other than the choruses I learned how to sing I didn't know any Hindi or Malayalam or Urdu or Tamil or Telugu or any of the other languages in India so I couldn't hear the preachers preaching and my interpreter well, didn't have time to translate word for word for me what was going on. Sometimes he'd tell me where the scripture was found and month after month, I just encouraged myself in the Lord. Amen. The challenge of the Holy Ghost and the anointing of the Spirit is enough to bring us into the full measure of all that God has for you and me in this last day. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When somebody says, what do you do? Don't give all those diminutive things. Amen, amen. Say, uh, oh, speak up. Amen. Speak up. Speak up and declare, I'm anointed to bless the world. <laughs> Speak up and declare, I'm anointed to bless America. Speak up and declare, I'm anointed to bless the nations. You say, but they'll think, they'll think I'm prideful. No, no, they'll think you're anointed. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I'm anointed for 1996. I'm anointed for this hour. Hallelujah. I'm anointed for God's purposes in the earth. Hallelujah. You say, well, what are they? Well, I don't know fully yet what they are because he hasn't given me the next assignment. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they try to pin you in a corner, just say, I haven't gotten the full schedule yet. 
He's handing it to me day by day. Amen. I don't know fully what his program is. I've got the general overall view that it's harvest time and it's the time of the ingathering of nations unto the Lord. I don't have the full schedule, but I'm part of. <laughs> I'm part of the revival. And listen, you can be the one that declares I'm not just part. I'm not the I'm not the one gathering it up at the end of it. Uh, amen. I'm going to be at the forefront of what God is doing in all the earth. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The greatness of the vision, the greatness of the calling, the greatness, hallelujah, of the anointing and what he pours into our lives. Hallelujah. Let's just turn to Daniel. Hallelujah. Daniel chapter 7. Daniel 7, 27, and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominion shall serve and obey him. And there's some of you are saying, but it's not quite time for that scripture to be fulfilled in fullness. But it's time for us folks to start moving into it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the fullness of it is going to come upon us so quickly that we're going to be amazed at what God does. But in this day, God, hallelujah, is leading us on into an authority. Amen. Let's read that again. The kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom. <laughs> Not only the kingdom and dominion, but the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, God working in us, God working in us, God working in us, and God working through us, hallelujah, for exploits for the people that know their God. <laughs> shall be strong and shall do exploits. You say, well, you got to know him a long time. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some people come into a knowing of the Lord so quickly when they're saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. It has nothing to do with how long you've been serving Him. It has no nothing to do with how old you are. It has nothing to do with what your background was. Amen. All it has to do is coming into that fullness of the revelation of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to say we were born for greatness. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. From the foundation of the world, we were chosen for this day and hour as we were in our mother's womb. And before we were in our mother's womb, we were called and chosen for this very day and hour. And we are called and chosen for greatness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, God putting greatness into us. Don't settle for a local vision, amen. You may stay in a local place, but your vision, 
has got to be a world vision. Amen. Hallelujah. You, no matter who it is, if we're going to have God's vision, we've got to have the greatness of it, uh, of what God is doing in all of the nations of the world. Hallelujah. And we're going to see God blessing. I see a revival coming in which every strata of American society is going to be touched by the fire of God. Hallelujah. We're going to have men in high position, born again and filled with the Spirit uh, all across our great nation. Amen. Hallelujah. More and more governors saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, hallelujah. More and more mayors uh, saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, more and more uh, people in all stratas. Uh, on Wall Street in Hollywood, we're going to see uh, God turning things around and anointing people and putting his greatness into their lives. Hallelujah. I, I, I believe this. I believe that everything that's happened to most of us has just been getting us ready for this new day. How many feel that in your spirit? Hallelujah. That God is getting us ready for greatness hallelujah if God's getting us ready for greatness don't run away from it amen don't shy away from what God's calling you into hallelujah there are people sometimes here at the camp they uh, they talk about it talk about it talk about it they want to do something on the platform they want to lead a service they want to preach and sister Carneal or one of the other leaders goes to them and they say not today not today. Not today. How many times? Sometimes ten and a half weeks of camp meeting goes by. And they've been asked four or five times during ten and a half weeks. Uh, uh, but no, not today. No, no, this isn't a convenient time until the summer is past. And they haven't stepped into it. You and I can say, I don't feel quite ready, but I'm going to depend on God. Hallelujah. I'm going to step up in that anointing and see what God will do for me. I was blessed yesterday afternoon, it was, I believe, when Brother Brad spoke. It was yesterday, wasn't it? I came in and listened to Brother Brad speaking. And uh, I was thrilled. I thought, uh, he's just a young man, but he's got revelation in his spirit that's coming out of his mouth uh, that most of the spirit-filled ministers in America wouldn't have a clue uh, of what he's talking about, but why uh, God dropped greatness uh, into his spirit. Amen from a humble home, from a problem home, from situations that in the natural would have been seemingly impossible. When we were recently in Australia, I was so blessed one morning when I watched Sister Ann Baines minister. When she stood up to minister, and she's going to be ministering at the ladies' convention, when she stood up to minister, she said... God's giving me a vision of people that have a contract to sign. And I want to pray for you. And I don't know, must have been about 20 people that came across the front of that auditorium. You would think, could 20 people in an auditorium that size have a major contract to sign? She began to minister to them. One had a house, one had a business, one had a government uh, contract. Uh, one of, the, one of them, uh, the, the situations was about $600,000 worth. And they went on down the line, uh, God giving a word of knowledge, God giving further insight concerning the contract. Uh, and I just started weeping because I remembered uh, when she first began to get a vision for Israel, uh, she and sister... Uh, uh, Matthews, uh, 
they would go around uh, North Carolina and go in the ditches getting cans that they could recycle and sell them to the recycling so they could send an offering to Israel. Uh, they would go around and pick up uh, uh, cans to recycle uh, in order to get their first trip to Israel themselves. Uh, uh, that was uh, the extent of their life. Uh, and now here a few years later, there's she's standing up and believing uh, for great financial miracles and turn around for 18 or 20 people uh, in, a, in Australia. Amen. That's what God does. What does God do? He anoints us to greatness beyond where we come from, beyond where we have been raised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And if some of you had a head start as far as the natural is concerned, keep on running and let God raise you up to the fullness that he has in this last day for you. God, amen, anointing you, calling you for greatness. He said, I'll make of you a great nation and I'll make your name great and you shall be a blessing a blessing hallelujah that's what he's calling us unto is that we might be a blessing in our heavenly father I believe you I believe you for this people <laughs> hallelujah you haven't called us to a little calling <laughs> you haven't called us to a little anointing you haven't called us, Lord, to a little job to do for Thee, but You've dropped greatness into our spirit. And every time we gather under the glory cloud, we feel that greatness as it works in us. Hallelujah, that when we're small, You make us big. When we're petty toward people and we get in that anointing, we only want to bless. Hallelujah, You put greatness in our spirit. Spirit, O oh Lord, in our relationships one with another. You put greatness, Lord. Give a, you give us that ability to forgive. You forgive, give us that ability, Lord, to apologize. You give us those abilities, Lord, to have the very character of Jesus working in and through us. And you've called us to greatness in this last day and hour. And, Lord, I believe you for everyone here to feel the challenge of the Holy Ghost in their lives even for this day and hour let not one leave camp meeting as they've come but let them determine they're going to rise up into the fullness that you have brought them into the world for <laughs> hallelujah that not one of us shall go home without being able to say I have finished my Core, so oh, hallelujah. I have not been disobedient uh, to the heavenly vision. Let that vision come forth uh, in our lives in this very day and hour. We pray and make us a blessing for your name's sake in Jesus' name, amen. Let's gather at the altar tonight. Oh, God is doing. A great thing He's doing it in me and in you. God is doing a great thing He's doing it in me and in you. Oh, God is God is doing a great thing, doing a great thing, and in you, God is doing a great thing, he's doing it in me and in you, God.
so others can gather in. great wings and I knew this that you have been like a turtle keep putting your head in the shell for years in and out you know but God's going to make the turtle fly <laughs> oh hallelujah in the natural a turtle never flies <laughs> but God's saying he's gonna take you out of that shell oh yes <laughs> Amen. He's going to take you out of that shell. He's going to take you out of that shell and get rid of it. Amen. Hallelujah. So you can't go back in it. Uh, hallelujah. And you're going to soar with the wings of an eagle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. If there are any other turtles here tonight. Uh, God wants to do the same thing for you if you've been going in and out of your shell. Hallelujah. Bobbing your head out and bobbing it back in. God wants to remove the shell and let you soar, soar, soar in the realm of the Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Janice Gravely, I saw... I know God's going to use you in ministry, but I also, and she's going down to South Africa soon to speak and give her testimony and minister to the people. But I saw this. I saw Wall Street, Wall Street, Wall Street. And there are areas of finances that God wants to use you in. Yes, God wants to raise you up beyond what you perceive. Yes, he does. I just kept seeing Wall Street, Wall Street, Wall Street, Wall Street. I know you got a son in New York, but I don't used to have, didn't you? Is he still up in New York? He's in Rocky Mount, but I tell you, uh, I know that Wall Street uh, shows us about money, but God's got some things for you. You cannot keep limiting yourself by your own thinking. 
Amen. You've got to just <laughs> let him lift you into new realms where you're believing for greater and greater things than you ever thought before. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's certain uh, things that he's already put in your spirit uh, that need to be used for the kingdom of God in this last day and hour. Hallelujah. And God's going to take a hold of you. Amen. I see him taking a hold of you and you taking a hold of him in a new way. And I see God dropping new things into your spirit for the kingdom of God in this last day and hour. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. God is doing a great thing. He's doing it and me hand in you. God is doing a great thing. He's doing it in me and in you. God is doing a great thing. He's doing it in me and in you. God is doing a great thing. And in me and in you. Now let me. I just want to say this. God doesn't have to bring the trumpeters down to trumpet. No. <laughs> All it takes is him just dropping a little something into your spirit. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Some of you need to get a little bit more excited, a little bit more anticipation. Hallelujah. God will drop just things into your spirit. He says you'll think his thoughts. Amen. Hallelujah. You'll think his thoughts. Whoever, who, whoever would have thought that, that Sister Alice would be going over to the Philippines and preaching to those thousands of people. But God dropped that thought in your spirit and raised you up for greatness. Amen. Hallelujah. She wasn't the greatest in the congregation up in Canada. Amen. They hardly noticed sometimes she was there, except she was such a nice person. But oh, hallelujah. <laughs> God began to birth greatness in her. Amen. And when God began to birth greatness in her, hallelujah, it's been manifested. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. God, let go. Let go. Let God do it. Let God do it. Let God do it. Let God do it. Hallelujah. Let God do it. There's not one here. <laughs> There's not one here. Amen. That God can't use and won't use. Our sister didn't know when she started coming down that she'd be also standing before the multitudes. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 But God birthing greatness, birthing greatness, birthing greatness. And tonight he's watering seeds of greatness. He's watering seeds of greatness. He's watering, oh, hallelujah, seeds of greatness. Oh, God is doing a great thing. He's doing it in me and in you. of themselves on great platforms. Come on, I want to see some hands. How many have seen visions of themselves on great platforms? Let's believe for it. Amen? Let's believe for it. How many have seen themselves preaching before the multitude in vision? Amen. Hallelujah. When mother and dad had a word over them, they would preach to multitudes. Their church was 35, 45 people. 
and they had lots of problems and I don't know I doubt if the offering was fifty dollars a week I doubt it fifty dollars a week when God said you'll preach to multitudes I don't think they even knew anybody overseas in those days but I remember when mother and dad and I stood in front of 50,000. Amen. I remember, I remember when mother stood in front of 30,000 and those people just wanted to touch her feet. They had seen her dance on the platform and saw that glory and that anointing and they'd never seen anything like it. And they would have, we had to rescue mother that day. Amen. Out of the, out of the meeting. Amen. Had to rescue. They all wanted just to touch her feet in humility. That's the way the Indian people do when they honor you. They reach down and touch your feet. The simple little peasant folks do. And they were doing this. Amen. 30,000, 50,000, 10,000, 20,000. Oh, my. Hallelujah. You say God did that? Yes, God did that. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray. And when God did that, they didn't have too many more in church. They did have more than that small group that when God gave the word. But I'm saying... It wasn't the, out of a great church but that this happened, but it was out of a great anointing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Folks from this ministry have preached all over the world. Standing right here tonight, our representation of people that have preached to every nation, with the exception of North Korea. Hallelujah, and have preached to great crowds and important people as well as ordinary folks. Uh, amen. And seen miracles and signs and wonders. Amen. Why? Because God births greatness <laughs> in your spirit. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, God doing it. God doing it. God doing it. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's sing it once more. I want you to believe for those stadiums. I want you to believe for those great platforms. I want you to believe for those multitudes. I want you to believe for those great doors. I want you to believe for government officials. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you, out of this congregation, we have more contact with government officials than probably any ministry any other ministry in America. Why? Because God's given us faith to believe for it. Amen. Our, our little folks, they, they hear me tell the story and they go over and knock on the door and believe for miracles too. And God gives them those same opportunities. Oh, yes, he does. I remember one night I got on the plane and uh, I always am friendly and talk to whoever's around. There was this group of very interesting looking men they were filling up about six or seven rows. And I said, oh, where are you men from? I began talking a little bit. <laughs> oh, yes, what have you been doing? Where are you going? I discovered it was the head man for every tribal group among the Kurds. And they had just been at the White House. And they were on their way to England to see John Major. <laughs> Amen. The chieftain of everyone. They invited me to come. They said, if you come over, we'll have you in the tent with the women. I said, oh, no, not me. I said, if you want me to come, I'll sit in the tent with you men. But don't put me in the tent with the women. Why was I saying that? Because I have an anointing for leaders. Amen. Hallelujah. They said, fine, we invite you and you can come and sit in the tent with all of the Kurdish leaders. This was the whole council of Kurdish leaders and they gave us their address. Amen. Just on the plane. How does it happen? Oh, God does it so easily. God does it so easily. Amen. He does it in ways we don't anticipate. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, God is doing a great thing. He's doing it. 